Hello everyone, welcome to DNDing the Multiverse, where we will be turning fictional characters from across the multiverse into playable characters for 5th edition DND. Today we will be DNDing Johnny Cage from the Mortal Kombat series. Please be advised that this video will contain graphic depiction of violence. After all, we are DNDing a Mortal Kombat character, so viewers' discretion is advised. For this build, we will be using the 5th edition DND Player Handbook and Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Let's start by allocating points to Johnny Cage's ability score. I will be using the standard point array 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and 8. Johnny's highest score will be in dexterity. Johnny has managed to dodge point blank gunfire, catch Scorpion's chain in mid air, dodge a corpse thrown at him, and catch a sword swung from Sub Zero before it could slash him, in addition to catching Reptile's tongue before it could hit Sonya. The next ability score is Strength. Johnny can deliver an uppercut strong enough to decapitate an individual, and he can also open someone's chest with his bare hands. The next ability score is Constitution. Johnny managed to survive a fall from a helicopter and then got up unharmed, tanked Scorpion's Fire Blast and Sub-Zero's Ice Blast, and took several attacks from a supercharged Sindel who was strong enough to kill most of the other Earthrealm warriors. The next ability score is Charisma. Although receiving no professional awards, Johnny Cage is still a famous Hollywood actor, acting in many action films. In my opinion, this means that Johnny Cage is a fairly charismatic person. The next ability score is Intelligence. Johnny is fairly intelligent, as he has managed to master several different fighting styles over the years. Johnny's lowest ability score is Wisdom. Wisdom, unfortunately, is not one of Johnny's strongest skills, although he does grow slightly wiser with age and after becoming a father. For Johnny Cage's race, we will be going with the Varian Human option, as it gives more customization options compared to the baseline human build. Remember to ask your DM whether you can use the Varian Human option instead of the baseline option before building this build. Varian humans get 1 point to any 2 ability scores of your choice, a proficiency in 1 skill of your choice, and a feat of your choice. We will be putting plus 1 skill point in strength and constitution. For his skill proficiency, we are going to give him proficiency in persuasion. For Johnny's feat, we will be giving him the actor feat as it fits his character. With the actor feat, we can increase Johnny's charisma score by 1, increasing it from 12 to 13. In addition to that, Johnny has advantage on deception and performance checks when trying to pass himself off as another person. With the actor feat, we can also make Johnny mimic the speech of another person or the sound made by other creatures. Johnny must have heard the person speaking or the sound of a creature for at least a minute. A successful wisdom check contested by Johnny's charisma check allows a listener to determine that the effect is fake. Now, if your DM only allows you to use the baseline human build, then increase one point to each of your ability scores. Now let's get to Johnny Cage's background. As Johnny is a Hollywood movie star, we are going to go with the entertainer background. With the entertainer background, Johnny has proficiency in the acrobatics and performance skill. He is also proficient in the use of a disguise kit and one type of musical instrument. As for equipment, Johnny gets one musical instrument of your choice, the favor of an admirer, a love letter, lock of hair or trinket, and a belt pouch containing 15 gold pieces. Johnny Cage's class is going to be a monk, as Johnny has mastered numerous different fighting styles over the years. As a monk, Johnny gains the following class features. Johnny's hit points at level 1 is 8 plus his constitution modifier which is plus 2 bringing his total hit points at level 1 to 10. Whenever Johnny levels up a monk level, his hit points increases by 1d8 or 5 plus his constitution modifier. As a monk, Johnny is proficient in simple weapons and short swords, but he is not proficient in the use of any armor. Johnny can also be proficient in one type of artisan tools and one musical instrument. We are going to pick the artisan tools, as his entertainer background already gives him proficiency with a musical instrument. Johnny's saving trolls are strength and dexterity. As a monk, we can also give two skills from acrobatics, athletics, history, insight, religion, and stealth to make Johnny proficient in. We are going to choose athletics and acrobatics. For his starting equipment, Johnny gets a short sword or any simple weapon, a dungeoner's pack or an explorer's pack, and 10 darts. At monk level 1, Johnny's proficiency bonus is plus 2. As a level 1 monk, Johnny gains the Unarmored Defense and Martial Arts feature. With the Unarmored Defense feature, Johnny's AC is 10 plus his Dexterity modifier plus his Wisdom modifier whenever he is wearing no armor and not wielding a shield. 
With the martial arts feature, Johnny gains several benefits while he is unarmed or wielding only monk weapons and when he is not wearing any armor or wielding a shield. With the martial arts feature, Johnny can use dexterity instead of strength for attack and damage rolls of his unarmed strikes and monk weapons. Johnny can also roll a d4 in place of the normal damage of unarmed strike or monk weapon. The die changes as Johnny gains levels in the monk class, as shown in the martial arts column of the monk table. In addition to that, when Johnny uses the attack action with an unarmed strike or monk weapon on his turn, he can make one unarmed strike as a bonus action, assuming he has not taken a bonus action already. At monk level 2, Johnny is able to harness the mystic energy of Chi. Johnny's monk level determines the number of Chi points he has. At monk level 2, Johnny has two Chi points. Johnny can spend these points to fuel various Chi features. At level 2, Johnny knows Flurry of Blows, Patient Defense, and Step of the Wind. Flurry of Blows allows Johnny to spend one Chi point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action immediately after he has taken an attack action on his turn. Patient Defense allows Johnny to spend one Chi point to take the dodge action as a bonus action on his turn. And Step of the Wind allows Johnny to spend one Chi point to take the disengage dash action as a bonus action on his turn. And his jump distance is doubled for the turn. When a Chi point is spent, it is unavailable until Johnny finishes a short rest or long rest. Johnny must spend at least 30 minutes of the rest meditating to reclaim his Chi points. Some of Johnny's Chi features requires his target to make a saving throw to resist the feature's effect. The saving throw DC is calculated as follows. 8 plus Johnny's proficiency bonus plus Johnny's wisdom modifier. At monk level 3, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 3. We can also commit Johnny to a monastic tradition. We are going to commit him to the Way of the Sun Soul, which is found in Xanathar's Guide to Everything. In my opinion, the Way of the Sun Soul monastic tradition matches very closely to Johnny's green energy abilities. At level 3, Johnny gains the Radiance Sunbolt skill, allowing him to hurl searing bolts of magical radiance. The Radiance Sunbolt skill perfectly matches Johnny's Force Ball skill from the games. The Radiance Sunbolt skill is a ranged spell with a range of 30 feet. Johnny is proficient with the skill and he adds his Dexterity modifier to its attack and damage roll. The Radiance Sunbolt's damage is Radiant and its damage die is a D4. The damage die for this skill changes as Johnny gains Monk levels as shown in the Martial Arts column of the Monk table. When Johnny takes the attack action on his turn and uses this special attack as part of it, he can spend one chi point to make the special attack twice as a bonus action. When Johnny gains the extra attack feature, this special attack can be used for any of the attacks you make as part of the attack action. At monk level 3, Johnny also gains the deflect missile feature. With the deflect missile feature, Johnny can use his reaction to deflect or catch the missile when he is hit by a ranged weapon attack. When he does so, the damage he takes from the attack is reduced by 1d10 plus his dexterity modifier plus his monk level. If he reduces the damage to 0, he can catch a missile if it is small enough for him to hold in one hand and he has at least one hand free. If he catches the missile in this way, he can spend one chi point to make a range attack with the weapon or piece of ammunition he has just caught as part of the same reaction. He can make this attack with proficiency regardless of his weapon proficiencies and the missile counts as a monk weapon for the attack. At monk level 4, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 4. At monk level 4, we can increase Johnny's ability score. We have two ability points to use. We are going to put both ability points into wisdom, bringing Johnny's wisdom score to 10. With Johnny's wisdom score raised to 10, his wisdom modifier is changed from a minus 1 to 0. This is good as there are some monk skills which require the wisdom modifier to be applied when calculating the effects of the skill. At monk level 4, Johnny also gains the slow fall feature. With the slow fall feature, Johnny can use his reaction when he falls to reduce any falling damage he takes by an amount equal to 5 times his monk level. At monk level 5, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 5. Johnny's martial arts damage die is also increased from 1d4 to 1d6. Johnny's proficiency bonus is also increased at level 5 from plus 2 to plus 3. 
At Monk level 5, Johnny gains the Extra Attack and Stunning Strike feature. The Extra Attack feature allows Johnny to attack twice instead of one whenever he takes the attack action on his turn. The Stunning Strike feature allows Johnny to interfere with the flow of chi in an opponent's body. When Johnny hits another creature with a melee weapon attack, he can spend one chi point to attempt a Stunning Strike. The target must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be stunned until the end of Johnny's turn. At Monk level 6, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 6. Johnny's unarmored movement speed is also increased to plus 15 feet from plus 10 feet. At Monk level 6, Johnny gains another monastic tradition feature. Johnny gains the ability to channel his chi into searing waves of energy. Immediately after Johnny takes an attack action on his turn, he can spend 2 chi points to cast the Burning Hand spell as a bonus action. He can also spend additional chi points to cast Burning Hands at a higher level. Each additional chi point he spends increases the spell's level by 1. The maximum number of chi points that Johnny can spend on the spell equals half his monk level. At monk level 6, Johnny also gains the chi empowered strike feature. With the chi empowered strike feature, Johnny's unarmed strikes count as magical for the purpose of overcoming resistance and immunity. At Monk level 7, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 7. Johnny at Monk level 7 also gains the Evasion and Stillness of Mind feature. With the Evasion feature, Johnny's instinctive agility lets him dodge out of the way of certain area effects, such as a Blue Dragon's Lightning Breath or a Fireball spell. When Johnny is subjected to an effect that allows him to make a Dexterity saving throw to take only half damage, he instead takes no damage if he succeeds on the saving throw and only half damage if he fails. With the Stillness of Mind feature, Johnny can use an action to end one effect on himself that is causing him to be charmed or frightened. At Monk level 8, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 8. At Monk level 8, we can also increase Johnny's ability score. We have two ability points to use and we are going to use both ability points to increase his dexterity score, bringing his total dexterity ability score to 16, thereby increasing his dexterity modifier from plus 2 to plus 3. At Monk level 9, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 9. Johnny's proficiency bonus is also increased from plus 2 to plus 3. At Monk level 9, Johnny's unarmored movement feature is also improved, granting him the ability to move along vertical surfaces and across liquids on his turn without falling during the move. At Monk level 10, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 10. Johnny's unarmored movement speed is improved from plus 15 feet to plus 20 feet. At Monk level 10, Johnny also gains the purity of body feature. With the purity of body feature, Johnny is immune to disease and poison. At Monk level 11, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 11. Johnny's martial arts damage die is also increased from 1d6 to 1d8. At Monk level 11, Johnny also learns another monastic tradition feature, the Searing Sunburst feature. Johnny gains the ability to create an orb of light that erupts into a devastating explosion. As an action, Johnny magically creates an orb and hurls it at a point he chooses within 150 feet, where it erupts into a sphere of radiant light for a brief but deadly instant. Each creature in that 20-foot radius sphere must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 2d6 radiant damage. A creature does not need to make the save if the creature is behind total cover that is opaque. Johnny can increase the sphere's damage by spending chi points. Each chi point spent to a maximum of 3 increases the damage by 2d6. At Monk level 12, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 12. At Monk level 12, we can also increase Johnny's ability score. We have two ability points to use. We are going to use both ability points to increase his dexterity score by 1, bringing his total dexterity ability score to 17. At Monk level 13, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 13. Johnny's proficiency bonus is also increased from plus 4 to plus 5. At Monk level 14, Johnny learns the Tongue of the Sun and Moon feature. With the Tongue of the Sun and Moon feature, Johnny is able to use his chi to touch the minds of others so that he can understand all spoken languages. Moreover, any creature that can understand a language can understand what Johnny says. 
At Monk level 14, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 14. At Monk level 14, Johnny's unarmored movement speed is improved from plus 20 feet to plus 25 feet. Johnny also learns the Diamond Soul feature at Monk level 14. The Diamond Soul feature allows Johnny to be proficient in all saving trolls. Additionally, whenever he makes a saving throw and fails, he can spend one chi point to reroll and take the second result. At Monk level 15, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 15. Johnny also learns the Timeless Body feature at Monk level 15. With the Timeless Body feature, Johnny suffers from none of the frailty of old age and he cannot be aged magically. He can, however, die of old age. In addition to that, he no longer needs food or water to survive. At Monk level 16, Johnny's total chi point is increased to 16. At Monk level 16, we can also increase Johnny's ability score. We have two ability points to use, and we are going to use both ability points to increase his dexterity score by 1, bringing his total dexterity ability score to 18, thereby increasing his dexterity modifier from plus 3 to plus 4. At Monk level 17, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 17. Johnny's proficiency bonus also improves from plus 5 to plus 6 at Monk level 17. At Monk level 17, the damage die for Johnny's martial arts feature is increased from 1d8 to 1d10. Also at Monk level 17, Johnny learns another monastic tradition, the Sun Shield feature. With the Sun Shield feature, Johnny is wreathed in a luminous magical aura. Johnny sheds bright light in a 30-foot radius and dims light for an additional 30 feet. Johnny can also extinguish or restore light as a bonus action. And if a creature hits Johnny with a melee attack while this light shines, Johnny can use his reaction to deal radiant damage to the creature. The radiant damage equals 5 plus Johnny's wisdom modifier. In my opinion, the Sun Shield feature's physical description is very similar to the green magical aura which envelops Johnny whenever he taps into his Mediterranean war cult powers. At Monk level 18, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 18. Johnny's unarmored movement speed is also improved from plus 25 feet to plus 30 feet at Monk level 18. Also at Monk level 18, Johnny is also able to learn the empty body feature. With the empty body feature, Johnny can use an action to spend one chi point to become invisible for one minute. And during that time, Johnny also has resistance to all damage but force damage. Additionally, Johnny can spend eight chi points to cast the astral projection spell. When he does so, he cannot take any creature with him. At Monk level 19, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 19. At Monk level 19, we can also increase Johnny's ability score. We have two ability points to use. We are going to put both ability points into Wisdom, bringing Johnny's Wisdom score to 12. With Johnny's Wisdom score raised to 12, his Wisdom modifier is improved from 0 to plus 1. At Monk level 20, Johnny's total chi points is increased to 20. Johnny also learns the final Monk class feature at Monk level 20, Perfect Self. When Johnny rolls for initiative with no key points remaining, he regains 4 chi points. We have reached level 20 and the end of this build. So let me know in the comment section below what do you think about my D&D build of Johnny Cage and whether you will be using this character in your next D&D session. If you like this video and would want to see more characters being turned into playable characters for 5th edition D&D in the future, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I hope to see all of you next time.